Hello and welcome to this week's Midweek Connection. My name is Todd Jordan. I serve as senior pastor here at Strawbridge United Methodist Church, and I'm grateful that you are joining us today. This Sunday is Confirmation Sunday. Confirmation Sunday is something we do every year for our fifth and sixth graders that are coming through Confirmation. Some of them are uh, going to join the church at the time. Some of them have already been baptized. Some of them are getting baptized. But it is an opportunity to recognize this important step um, as they find themselves on the brink of adulthood to claim and own their faith for themselves. Many of them, not all of them, but many of them have been baptized uh, when when they were infants. In the Methodist Church, we do this, and that is an opportunity to publicly recognize uh, God's claim on their life. But we know that um, while God claims us, at some point we need to claim that claim that God has on our lives. And confirmation is sort of that that step of, of doing that on their own. So confirmation, by definition, is um, to support or strengthen something. So it is this step where they are Um, uh, strengthening, remembering what God has done for them um, that's recognized in baptism, but what God has done for them all through their life and owning that and letting that leading them into the future. So Confirmation Sunday is also an opportunity uh, for those of us who are older uh, to reflect on those moments that God has seen us through. Many of us have been through, many of you have been through things where you look back and you're like, how did I ever make it except for what God got me through? Um, What I call an exodus moment. You know, uh, the Jewish people, uh, for them, this is their defining moment. When they were coming out of Egypt, God was Uh, saving them through Moses' leadership. And the night before they left, they had the Passover meal. And this was an event that God wanted them to remember for all perpetuity. We read about it in Exodus chapter 13. I'm going to read just a a, um, few verses from that, that chapter. Moses said to the people, "'Remember this day on which you came out of Egypt.'" out of the house of slavery, because the Lord brought you out from there by the strength of hand. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today in the month of Abib, you are going out. When the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swore to your ancestors to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this observant in this month. You shall tell your child on that day, it is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall serve for you as a sign on your hand and as a reminder on your forehead, so that with the teaching of the Lord may be on your lips, for with a strong hand the Lord brought you out of Egypt. You shall keep this ordinance at its proper time from year to year, because they were able to remember, relive, and re-experience what God had done for them through that Exodus moment, it has kept them strong. We as Christians have our own moment as well with the passion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We remember this, we celebrate this, we experience and re-experience Christ's crucifixion, Christ's resurrection every year so that so that that, that promise of hope, uh, that remembrance gives us strength and reconfirms our faith when we reflect on it, when we remember it. So what I want you to simply do this week as we prepare for Confirmation Sunday, think of those moments in your life that God has seen you through. Maybe something this past year or maybe before. What are those Exodus moments or what was the Exodus moment, if you have one in particular, where God really saved you from a a dark place or um, a, a, a a frightening situation or a desperate situation. And you can use that as strength to get you through. And um, 
Join us this Sunday for Confirmation Sunday. Also, just as a reminder to you, um, our graduates have profiles um, online. You'll find a link to that below this uh, midweek connection. Um, please log on to that and share some words of encouragement or, or inspiration uh, for our graduates. Whether you know the graduate or not, just to let them know you're thinking of them and praying for them as they enter their next journey. Um, remember, the graduates this year have been through a lot. Uh, they were freshmen when Harvey hit. Uh, they've been through Imelda and, of course, COVID. So just a word of encouragement from you will mean a lot. That that opportunity ends this week. So click on there and just let them know you care about them and are praying for them. Thank you for all the ways that you are supporting our, our seniors and the way that you support the church and the way that you remember who you are because of what God has done for you. God bless you, and I'll see you Sunday.